Mr. Recruit 804, Coach Kevin Tucker, Thomas Dale. Ugly 30 to 10 victory over Granby tonight, but I'm sure you'll take it. What was the difference for you guys? Um, you know, the big thing tonight, we're playing with our fifth quarterback of the year. Um, you know, pretty sloppy on offense out there and, and just trying to put a little bit of rhythm together. Really couldn't get anything going. Um, you know, in the second half, we went ahead and pulled some of our starters. Um, went with our freshman, he's our sixth quarterback of the year. And, uh, you know, we're able to get under the eye and try to basically just take some time off the clock. You know, we wanted to get down here and try to get out of here without any injuries. And like I said, it just seems like it just keeps coming back and biting us week after week. So, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll get some guys back healthy next week and hopefully uh, be able to, uh, to uh, keep this thing rolling. Gotcha, Chris Kuda, three field goals today. High of, I'm sorry, long of 44. D'Angelo Gray had a kick return, called back on penalty block mm -hmm. in the back. Uh, how important was special teams tonight? You know, special teams played a big role for us. We knew Kuda, you know, young kicker that can, can really boot that thing, and you know, trying to to, to decide, you know, are you going to go for a fourth down or are you going to kick it? Um, tonight's were easy because you know they were fourth and seven or fourth and eight. You know, it's fourth and one, fourth and two, and you got a guy like Chris in the backfield it makes it a little bit tougher. So, um, you know, proud of Kuda. He does a really good job, and like I said, we just want to keep these guys rolling in the right direction. Um, you know, D'Angelo Gray is a special athlete. We're going to try to make sure he gets plenty of touches in the future. And like I said, we're going to get healthy and get those guys back at quarterback, and look forward to having our full potential on offense. Gotcha. Two fumble recoveries by the defense, one interception despite giving up 10 points. Last touchdown near the end of the fourth quarter. Uh, how important was your defense tonight? Our defense stepped up big time. We told them all week this week they were going to have to play a huge role. Um, and if you notice on our defense tonight, we didn't start any of our regular starters. Um, we let those guys practice four days, well, three days of offense. It would have been four days. Mm -hmm. um, so, we, you know, pulled Chris, D'Angelo, Antonio, pulled those guys off of defense just to like, focus on the offense and try to get some package together. Um, and it, you know the guys that filled in did a really good job. You know I was proud of those guys. Philip Allen has a big interception. Krishan Saunders has a big interception. Um, you know Gary Strolling, big turnover there. Um, you know so the, the guys that are that are stepping up are young guys. They're all juniors, and um, you know the, the future's bright for us. We just gotta try to grind a few more wins out this year and, and, and make a little run in the playoffs. Got you now, Prince George next week. Yes, sir. What do you guys plan on trying to do with the roster? Is it too early to think about it? Uh, um, you know, like I said, we've got 70 kids on varsity right now, so we're probably not going to pull up many more on JV. Um, the kids that are up now with us are, are here. Um, you know, like I said, we're going to get healthier next week. You know, we got a couple quarterbacks we held out again tonight. Um, the will be back. Um, once we get those guys back, we can expand the offense back a little bit more and take some pressure off of Chris. Um, and then defensively, you know, those guys will be able to go back out there on defense and, and, you know, and get after it. So, like I said, hopefully we can get healthy at the right time, um, you know, come out with a, with a big victory next week to finish the season strong and then get that first round opponent. And, you know, it's going to be probably Franklin County or, or Clover Hill. And just got to make sure we, we take care of business and take it one week at a time. Gotcha. You talked post game about uh, discipline, keeping penalties down, over 100 yards in penalties this week. Uh, how do you guys plan on? You know, some that. of those plays, yeah, it's, it's tough. You know, like I said, the the, the blindside kick and blindside punt, th those are tough. That's new penalty this year. The referees are making a point of emphasis. Um, you know, and these guys are 16 years old. They're going to go out there and they're trying to, you know, make the big hit. And it's it's unfortunate. You know, we try to teach them in practice. You can't do that. In practice, when it happens, you know, we mark it off in 15-yard penalty and, and, you know, trying to teach them. But, again, like I said, they're 15, 16 years old. And they sometimes get out there and they, and they get, you know, anxious and, they want to go, like I said, get that big hit, and hopefully, like I said, we can use this film tonight as a teaching tool and saying, look, this is costing us. This is bringing back touchdowns. This is costing first downs. And, you know, eventually these guys, like I said, they're all young, man. We're only starting two seniors right now, so they're going to learn from these mistakes and hopefully get better. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you.